In terms of deepening conversations, um, so I'm just going to go through and give you a bunch of examples of things that I have done, but by no means is this exhaustive as a list, but just some ways to think about things. So if a client has already given you some information, you maybe ask those first couple of questions already, and they say, yes, I believe in this, or yes, I check my horoscope every day, or this is what I believe, or this is what I'm wondering about. If they have done that, well, then you now have some information for your future work together. Again, it always has to be consensual. You need to be checking out as you're going. Can't, you, can't, uh, you can't assume anything. However, you now have some information to work with. So um, I have a client who believes that his grandmothers are always with him. And um, after, I can't remember exactly how that came up in a session, but he believes that they're there always guiding him, always buffering him. And so uh, when we're working on other kinds of issues or in a, when he's in a state of anxiety and you know, trying to make a decision about something, uh, getting all fraught, I will often say, would you like to check with your grandmothers? And what this does is it helps this client to drop down, right? We've, we've heard this phrase used a few times today, drop down out of this kind of worry state into the body, right? Into that deeper state of knowing. Whether or not I believe or anyone else believes that the grandmothers are there, who cares? I happen to believe it, but who cares? This client is accessing something really wonderful and really helpful that is a resource that he can use over and over and over again, just as an example. So for the client who tells you, um, yes, I believe in this spiritual system or, or something that you can yourself, you don't have to be an expert, but you can reference, you might start uh, a tentative questions like, I don't know if this resonates for you, but some people believe dot, dot, dot. So uh, one example that uh, I use, I see a lot of clients who are uh, 28. I don't know what it is about that magic number, 28. <laughs> well, um, and you know, if they are interested in astrology, I will say, I don't know if this resonates with you or not, but some people believe that this is a time of Saturn returns. You might want to look it up. I think that's why they come to therapy at 28, actually. <laughs> Um, during a hypnosis, a client met a protective Greek god. It's not unusual for clients to meet protective figures, right, um, uh, in, in a hypnosis. So this became a resource, this protective figure, right? So later on, I could ask if they'd like to try a meditation on boundaries, enlisting his, specifically his support. And again, it's a question. It has to be, there has to be consent. Oh, yeah, hey, that would be cool because that felt safe before. Yeah, why don't we try that again? And um, there is a, kind of a well-known meditation where um, a, a client or anyone would maybe do this exercise of having a protective figure escort away someone that they're wanting to have a closure with. I don't know if you've encountered that. Um, but with this client, we used their Greek god. So this was because I already had the information, right? Because I'd asked. 